What's going on my Borskis? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video we're back for some more Pirate Rumble action and today we're using a character that I didn't really think I was going to make a video on but after reading the abilities once more I feel like we should probably make a video on it and see just how it performs and that character is going to be the brand new Kizuna Rare Recruit Komurasaki because this character does seem to fit relatively well in a Free Spirit team as we have a look that her passive provides level 5 health and level 5 recovery up to free spirit and every time that this character does a healing effect you get a level 2 attack up and that can stack up to four times so this character if it stays alive long enough can give you level 8 attack to free spirit which is pretty good and then you've obviously got the special ability which can provide a pretty good large range healing as well as providing guard percent up and additional defense up which is great because that's one of the things that the free spirit class in pipe rumble don't have they don't have a lot of defensive style units so this team that we're building is trying to balance both offense and defense in one team so this is what we've come up with here i don't know if this is going to be super optimal i don't know if this kumurasaki is going to be an absolute game changer but you know my normal free spirit team i was using otama on the main line because not only does that character have really good healing capabilities but also gives ct increase to free spirit so we're taking out otama we're putting in kumurasaki so hopefully that's a decent uh it's a decent replacement here but as for what, what else we have on this team, obviously Odin and Luffy and the Straw Hats are going to be an amazing combination of units. Those are our two heavy hitters. Then the two additional units here, we've got Roger and we've also got Sabo and Ace. So again, as I said, I'm trying to balance offense and defense. And by having Sabo and Ace, their passive provides defense, their special provides defense whilst also doing pretty good, pretty good damage. And then Roger also provides utility in giving attack down, speed down, and defense down to the enemy. So as I said, trying to balance that all to make sure not only are we able to tank hits but also we're able to debuff and do a lot of damage to the enemy so we can get that w so that's kind of just the breakdown of the team hopefully it works effectively and uh, without further ado let's go ahead and jump into some pirate rumble matches so I'm just genuinely curious to see how we're going to perform here. This is a relatively optimal Psy team. A little bit of an odd choice to have Smoker as one of the bench units, but he, he has a really good passive, so I kind of understand that. But this is a pretty optimal Psy team right here with, you know, Rebecca Toy Soldier, Eneru. Yamato is obviously going to be a huge issue, especially if Yamato decides to just straight up KO our Odin character. That's going to be very problematic. Luckily, Luffy and the Straw Hats do have that really nice effect where they can, uh, they can just revive at least one time throughout the quest here so as long as you know they stay alive you know I, I don't mind honestly it would be best case scenario if Yamato does hit Luffy in the straw hats just to kind of protect some of our other characters because Yamato hits incredibly hard and already 15 seconds into the match and you, and you got NL already launching a special which obviously sucks so we tank that relatively well and you can see our stats are relatively you know distributed pretty evenly I would say a little bit of defense down there from Rebecca and Toy Soldier obviously isn't good uh, Odin unfortunately is going to miss and Yamato's already targeting and that is going to go ahead and take out our Odin which is exactly what we didn't want to do I literally said it as soon as this match started as long as Odin doesn't get taken out by Yamato I think we'll be okay so now things are a lot harder um, and it is a little bit of a shame here that we're going to get all these specials to launch before Luffy crew gets to go so Luffy crew is not going to be as ideal we do get a bit of health recovery there from Komurasaki which is actually pretty good Luffy and the Straw Hats are looking pretty fresh though um, they're actually going to be doing pretty good damage here too because they're all bundled up together so this is actually perfect here dude they're so good luffy and the straw hats are just so good all right so yeah this is a win this is an absolute win um so komurasaki didn't really showcase too much there unfortunately just got super unlucky with ya with yamato targeting at odin it, it would have been a much faster win if he did survive that but either way we're fine. We're not going to lose this one. Um, we could definitely run a more offensive style team by replacing, you know, Roger, for example, replacing him with Yamato on our team. That is also a valid option. But I did want to go with something that was a little bit more well-rounded where everyone is getting a buff you know, just from from all the all the passives out there. And Yamato really only provides a buff to Psy units, which, you know, obviously sucks because having Roger on the team is really nice. He has a really good passive that can work for our entire team. So that's the reasoning behind that. We're still lucky to get the win, though. You know, the Psy teams, you do have to be very, very careful about them, especially Yamato can be an absolute game changer. So I saw this team and I was just, again, just really curious to see how we're going to go here. Now, I typically always avoid slasher teams like this because it's too RNG because 
one thing can change and you'll just instantly lose the fight and slashers have that opportunity to do that they you know with roger and newgate such a powerful character you've got kizaru which can consistently buff their team odin is a bit of a wild card as well because if he hits the right characters it can also be an absolute game changer doflamingo is kind of interesting i don't think kara and wanda are going to be doing too much on their side of the field but considering how much speed and ct and offensive capabilities that slasher teams have i typically always avoid them just because this they're, they're just a wild card you just don't know what to expect from them Sometimes they're amazing, sometimes they're dog shit. And let's see what happens this time around as Kizara already gets to launch his special only uh, very, very briefly into this fight here. So let's see how things go. Uh, obviously, we want to get our specials launched ASAP. What does the current one to do? A bit of attack buff, defense buff, bit of damage. Actually pretty solid. Unfortunately, Odin just missed out on his special, but at least Odin's going to give a little bit of uh, debuff there to the enemy. Komorosaki is going to be able to launch that special there, which will give a bit of a health increase, which is really good. Almost a full heal. That is absolutely... Absolutely ridiculous there right before Odin's able to launch his special that is very very good okay thank you very much Komorosaki for holding up our characters there and this is going to be pretty good because Ace and Sabo are going to launch then Luffy and the Straw Hats are going to haste all of our characters which is going to put um, Odin back at the top this is looking pretty good for us right now oh my god let's go Luffy okay and Odin as well Dude, so good! We didn't get the action bind on Roger and Newgate, but man, it, they're going to be a bit of an issue here because they just do so much damage with the 30% health cut and the guaranteed two targets through defense. It's just, it's pretty bad. So let's see who they target. Okay, yep, and it insta-killed the two characters that they targeted, which is not a surprise. They're just that good. That special is one of the best specials in Pyrumble absolute monstrosity of a unit um luckily when roger's going to launch again he's going to be able to give us a, a bit more damage there additional damage coming in oh roger's down this is actually a lot closer than i was expecting but hey slashes they're just so unpredictable here um we really want luffy and the straw hats to come in super clutch here are they gonna whiff okay they just hit thank god for that okay it's game over Whew, that was uh a lot closer than I was expecting, but hey, look, as I said, a bit of a wild card there. Luffy and the Straw Hats pulled through throughout the majority of that fight there. Actually, we can still take a lot of damage here. Oh, this is still really, really close. So, at least we have two characters v1. Whew, okay, yeah, very, very close match that one, but <laughs> at least we got the dub. Considering Free Spirit are not the most defensive team out there, as I said, I feel Komorosaki definitely added a lot earlier on in that fight, providing that heal before Odin was able to launch his special, which obviously saved us a little bit. Um, you know, comparing like Otama, which doesn't really provide a defensive buff to our team, whereas Komorosaki does that with a HP buff as well. I like it. I think Komorosaki definitely was, I don't know if it was the overall difference, but it definitely helped us out a lot in that early game for getting through this slasher team. So I want to try this once again, just to make sure it wasn't like an absolute cheese victory that we got in the last match. So again, another slasher team, but this is again, more ultra offensively focused with the fact that Cracker is now on this team, which gives additional CT to those slasher characters. Um, so this is going to be the final match of the video. Hopefully Komorosaki is going to be that difference between winning and losing. Ideally, if we get dealt some damage early, like likely Kizaru is going to be able to do, then we get Komorosaki to heal us back before they start launching some of their specials. That will be ideal. Also, Roger Newgate have to be very careful about that. And ideally, Roger Newgate probably targets Komorosaki and maybe Luffy Crew so we can get the revive off of that. I think that would be best case scenario here, but we don't control these things. We'll see how things progress throughout this fight. One thing about this team that I don't like is we don't have a lot of CT increase. So typically the enemy will be launching their special before us, which I don't really like it as much. So here's Odin. Very good damage coming in from his side there. We really wanted Komorosaki to come through. This is, this is going to be pretty bad. I think this is going to be very, very, very bad. Okay, we are losing a lot of HP, and Roger and Yuge are ready to launch their special. So at least, oh, oh, I don't think, can they even be action binded? I don't think they can. I mean, very good damage. At least we got action bind on Doflamingo there. Who are you targeting? Okay, unfortunately, Luffy Crew did not receive that, but that's okay. That's okay, we're still looking okay. Luffy Crew is going to put everyone to the top, and then Komorosaki is going to be able to heal us. Okay, yeah, we're fine. We are absolutely fine. Luckily, Luffy Crew is ready to launch. Oh, and we're just going to get the win straight off of that 10,000 damage. Oh, dude, that is ridiculous. 10,000 damage in a large sideways range. Look, the sideways range specials, they have a chance to whiff, but if they hit, they are just monumental.
So with all of that, that is going to conclude this One Piece Treasure Cruise video. Thank you very much for watching. And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But other than that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.